Yo, Danny Mata, you're gonna wanna add this one to the list. Stuff's about to get weird. When someone asks what are the best anime of all time, there's usually a few answers that come up. Full Metal Alchemist, Attack on Titan, One Piece, you know, like the usuals. Well, I never watched Attack on Titan. I only got through 150 episodes of One Piece and... Okay, well, Full Metal Alchemist is really good, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about a show that is so good, it leaves me spiraling per episode. I wish I could genuinely explain the feeling that this show gives me, but I, I can't. It's something that is like an experience in itself, and it's so visceral, and it's so there in my face, and it's always- I, I can't stop thinking about it for so long. It's been years! The show is called Sunny Boy. Oh, you just had to start being police right here, didn't you? The show is called Sunny Boy. The show is technically about a group of middle schoolers who, while in middle school got magically transported to a different dimension, and while in that dimension, some of them gain magical powers and, you know, conflict arises between them, you know, all the regular stuff. But I truly mean this when I say that is barely the surface of this goddamn story. Literally from episode one, you can tell this is a weird show. I mean, the first few opening shots are of the protagonist and the empty dark void that their school is in. One of the things that really gets me about this show and why I love it so much is that it's so casually weird. You know, you have some characters freaking out, others going crazy, and you know, the general Lord of the Fly stuff. But at the same time, all the characters are middle school students, so they're kind of just vibing, and I really like that. This show has such a calm chaos about it, and I genuinely cannot like place the emotion that it gives me. But the biggest thing about this show to me is that it is very heavy, and honestly, I can't describe it more than that. When I say heavy, I mean after watching the first episode, I had to get up from my seat, leave the room, and just pace for the next like 30 minutes trying to figure out what on earth just happened to me. Like yeah, the show is filled with like random philosophy mumbo jumbo, and obviously the characters aren't written to be exactly realistic, but still, there's something about the simplistic animation style, every line of dialogue, and the themes behind it that are just so like punching me in the gut every time that it comes in. And it never stops. The first episode is 30 minutes. I sat there thinking that I was there for like three days trying to intake all the information that was going on at once. And not like a bad boring three days. Like I was so like entrenched in this world that it just took me away from the universe for a while. And don't even get me started on the characters. Like they're so wild at times and it's really great. All I'm gonna say is that this dude is the best and I love him and he's absolutely amazing. He's hilarious. He's super smart. He's just the coolest guy in the world. And then there's also this guy and I hate him and I hate him and I hate him and I hate him. He's the worst. No one likes him. I don't like him. No one should like him and oh my god i like it's rare that i really like hate a character this much and i really hate this guy bro looks like a mix of a jojo's character and an emperor penguin like i don't get away from my screen but with all of that out of the way the most important thing that i kind of want to talk about is that i actually haven't finished the show but elias how can you say a show is so amazing when you haven't even watched all of it yeah shut up look i genuinely wish that i could watch the show to its completion but the issue is I just can't. This show somehow impacts me so emotionally that I literally cannot get past like five episodes. Like after a while, I need to like take a break for like a week and then I forget that the show exists because you know, ADHD be a thing. And then I remember and then I'm like, am I physically like able to like go back to that show? Am I able to go through this again? Cause then I still have to start from the beginning to remember how it all goes. It's such a weird show to me and it's so great, but I still just, I can't, I have no clue how it ends. And y'all better not spoil nothing for me. I, I will get to it one day, I will sit down and do it. But first, I have to watch all of Dura Dada. I just got through the first arc of that show. It's it's great. I really like this. But one day, I will sit down and finally get back to and hopefully finish Sunny Boy. And you should too. If you can. Tr please tell me if you can. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. Bye-bye!